Hello and welcome back to Hexic. And in the end of the carrot, in the final part, we have reached the final level in marathon mode. In order to complete the game, we have to get two more of those fucking black pearls that are shimmering and just laughing in our face. All right, so we need to rotate this one a bit more to a bit more to the right, and then. More yeah, to the right, left. right, right about there. Right about there. That's about, that's about where you want it. So get that yellow right in there. Yeah, buddy. All right, now we're building. So, in in the tiers of puzzle games, where would you put Hexic? What tiers, as in, like how good it is, or like how intuitive it is? Uh, just in general, how good? Huh. Well, it's it's not a, it's certainly not a unique game because I think pretty much pretty much every puzzle game that I've seen had function on the premise that you have to you have it's a it's a mixing and matching game is is what it is finally color recognition pattern recognition play making moves ahead of time God. Damn it! <laughs> that was a major setback that just happened. Hence, I just jump cut it. Um, so, as long as you know, provided shit like that doesn't happen, yeah, I, I had I had a pretty I had a pretty decent time getting back into Hexic. Um, it's this this, but this also is not a two-player game. This is a one-player game. Um, other games I played like Doctor Robotics, Mean Bean Machine, that predicate on multiplayer. Um, yeah, I, I also have a lot more fun doing that at times. I like the challenge, feeling like, you know, I gotta, I gotta play better than, you know, the other player, basically. But in this, in this game, where you are only playing as well as you let yourself play, and you are your own standard of comparison, um, it's, it's hard to compare the two, really. But... Would I would I play this above Doctor Robotics Mean Bean Machine, for example? Uh, I'd probably sooner play Doctor Robotics Mean Bean Machine. <laughs> okay, we disarmed the bomb. That's very that's very good. That's good hexer. Got to disarm the bomb. So are we trying to make our second black pearl or what? Yes, yes, we are trying to. Well, I don't think the time has yet come because if we make a black pearl now, that means that we'll only have one star piece left, which would put us at a tremendous disadvantage this late in the game. There might even be a function that says that when there are no available moves left on the board, simply because all the co all the colors are too, you know, sporadically placed and they're all different colored, that the game might also end automatically. But don't quote me on that. So you usually, when you die in Hexic, it's usually because of bombs. It's usually because of bombs. Okay. Yes, not not because you can't move anywhere. Bombs are evil. We do not like bombs. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure where you're trying to go for for your next uh, uh for your next star uh star piece though. No. Not oh, the, there it is. Not feeling rosy magenta. I didn't. I did not see. Uh, like a little boat. I did not see uh, uh, that magenta Whoa. was uh, was significant was significantly far along. I will use this bomb to do my bidding. Boom. I just use a bomb to make a star flower. That makes me awesome. Oh yes, um I, I should I, I should also give this game this game some credit for for the music selection. I mean I I've already praised this game for its music, but that is that is one major reason why, you know, after not playing this game for a couple of years that it, it's the the music is still pretty fresh. You know, it's it's mo it's modern feeling. Um 
and you got these real and you got these really spacey graphics on the periphery of your vision around what appears to be basically like a handheld device that is superimposed on your screen. It's comfort it's very comfortable. And, you know, maybe after this I might play, like, Perfect Dark Zero or Call of Duty 2 if uh, this was 2007 all Zero, over again. Please. Uh, it's not, it's not my, it's not my favorite first-person shooter. It, you, I used to think it was the bee's knees, but now it's, it's kind of... It's worse than it Perfect had its Dark. Time. And that's saying something. It is saying something. I mean, I, I love Perfect Dark. I do. Like, uh, Perfect Dark on N64 is definitely my jam. And Perfect Dark is way better than uh, do, uh, gold, uh, 007 Goldeneye. And I will, and I will fight anyone who who, who, uh, uh, who wants to disagree with me on that. But the big issue that Perfect Dark Zero has is although the multiplayer is somewhat expans expanded upon, a lot of the a lot of the uh, features and interesting things from the original Perfect Dark are just stripped away, and it's like, why did they strip them away? They were really nice features to have. Because because this game looks like the tits. Uh, I don't think Perfect With an Dark Zero actually on looks, tits. looks all that great in comparison to other uh, other first person shooters of of of, of the day. Right, other first person shooters. If Perfect Dark Zero was the only first-person shooter I got to play at the time, at the time, yeah, I would be satisfied for the most part until I got tired of the stupid, uh, of the of the goofy character interactions, in in search of a more palatable narrative experience. Because it's not just that I have things to shoot; I need to understand why. Okay, so now how are you going to get a red piece to there? Oh, that's how. Okay. Right over there. Fuck yeah. All right, get get clear of the chaos. Build a little insurance space. Make sure that they're right. Remember, star pieces that are stacked on in a vertical orientation on top of each other cannot be affected by chaos action because they have they can only fall downwards due to gravity. So, your best bet is to do something like this. Unless I'm just what the fuck am I doing? I guess I guess I'm just I'm just making extra space for myself. Okay, all right, everybody clear. All right, send it. Oh oh my science. Um. That's not honestly all that bad. It's just a red piece. All, all we gotta do is is knock uh, knock it down a little ways, and and we should be able to uh, move it into a proper position. So if I move this, you know, um, maybe four. Uh, turn it. Three. Two. Got it. All right, now watch that rotation before you want to drop the controller and rage quit because you simply did not see that you could combine your and get rid of your star pieces. Mm. Okay, but now, uh, <sighs> this is a very non-declarative game. Very much so. <laughs> Now we can make that second black pearl and still have the means to create the third one. Just gotta, all right, bring it downtown. But <laughs> bring it downtown. Other way. Without some, oh wait, no, but I spotted a, a star piece uh, building but opportunity. There's no magenta anywhere near it. Let's bring it down to a more useful there. location. We did it. Come on. You can go a little.
little faster? Why are you being so careful for? What's the worst that could happen? Mm, we delete all of our star pieces on accident. Yeah, we can delete all of our star pieces on accident. But, but believe me, if I if I was doing this live, like you can, I would enunciate all of the quandaries I am encountering as I'm just rotating pieces by pressing a button. <laughs> Why don't you do that blue cl cluster over there uh, in order to drop these star pieces some more? I I could I could that would that would drop it down one. Um, it looks like it looks like I'm trying to build some more right now, but I think the idea is just to simplify, just so that you know I have the second black pearl, and I just need only work on the third one. Okay, vertical orientation. Insurance policy. Uh, let's let's build another one. I got some yellows. Fuck. Uh, oh, not good. Not good. Get get the star piece out of there. Okay, and then rotate away. All right. Very cool. Okay, we got lots of so. What, so what I'm doing is I'm accelerating towards the third black pearl while working on the second at the same time. But now let's build that second one. Finally, find a damnly. Bring this one down, and boom. Mm. Jump cut. Mm. Okay. D oh, you okay. accidentally so deleted two... some, of, uh, some of your star cluster, uh, uh, star flowers, didn't you? But, but po possibly. Maybe not. Um, because if there were 11 on the board a second ago, then that means that... Um, but they're in drastically different locations than they just were. And there was a jump cut. Okay. There, there was a jump cut because there was a long period of time where there was just plain fucking nothing happening. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I'm, I'm trying to show you the, the most exciting parts of this puzzle sorting game. <laughs> the most exciting. What I'm trying to figure right now, I still have to get that six star piece in order to make the third and final black pearl. But once you make the black pearl, you still have to make a cluster. So the question is, how many more star pieces do I need to make in order to not cripple my ability to maneuver the black pearl around so that I can end the game? Well, if you can make them right next to each other, too, because then you have uh, pretty much infinite movement across the board. I bet, I bet, I bet there is a black pearl algorithm. Because now that there are two black pearls in play, like you can, you could probably make some interesting shit happen. Okay, now where? Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I could see where I could build a magenta. Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, I could see where I can build a new one. <laughs> um, okay, let's bring, let's bring these two. Let's bring our building buddies up. Okay, building buddies are ascending. Let's carry a magenta up from the bottom and then use that one on the top to complete the six star piece that I need. This is this six star piece is the last star piece I'm gonna build for the game. God damn it. So what we need to do Hold is knock everything down, knock down the bomb like two spaces or you know, th this'll work. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. But it fucked up my magenta positioning, so let's bring... Do I work on the one up top or the one on the bottom? It's only a matter of time before another fucking bomb shows up. Okay, bring that down. And presto. Okay, so there's all six of uh, all six of our star of our star pieces. Now we just have to manipulate the board in order to put them together. Yes, Manip both manipulate them to manipulate the board to put them together, but do not make it so that you cannot make any moves further after you do that. Right. How do we do that? Well, honestly, you just need you should probably should just be dropping the uh, the star pieces with normal cl with with normal cluster uh, uh, combos. 
Uh, that's it's a little I, I I mean your your method your method is valid but it's a little slower than using the hexagonal rotation ability of the star piece to control your movements so this is what I'm trying to do I'm trying to get the third black pearl and end the game in one move right okay all right we're going we're moving up for the big finish uh, march spin Tessellate. Rotate. Circulate. Careful. Cycle. Yeah, God, mother of Mary. Um, okay, but that. Okay, we got mate and four. Uh, seven. And boom! Yay! 175,000 points, man. We are the big cheese of the South Seas. Congratulations, Rocket Rabbit. You have completed Hexic Marathon mode. Well done. So have you ever gotten one mil one million points? Pro probably. The, these these games have re remember the game this is like this is like baseball. The game does not end until an event happens. There is no clock. Nineteen bomb defusals. Very well done. And that has been Hexic. And that was Hexic, everybody. Yes. And I hope you guys appreciated this view of a, you know, more advanced, but yet a more simple time in puzzle games. That is before mobile took over. And thank you so much for watching. What has been a nostalgic puzzle game for this guy. Hi, everybody. Be safe. And this is the end of the carrot.